Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The President of France, Emmanuel Macron, um, digs deeper into the hole he um, produced for himself. And that is, he supposedly challenges the United States of America, uh, making all kinds of statements um, like, uh, we are not uh, US's vassals. All right, well, if you remember, he made a statement in Beijing well, while he was visiting um, Xi Jinping, China, stating that he will not, France, uh, will not participate in uh, or not support U US's uh, BS in Taiwan against China. Well, then you obviously heard all the weasels jumping on him, on this weasel, he's a weasel, uh, you know, that, uh, oh my God, how can you say that, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, Macron from a uh, fantastic guy portrayed by the mass media, he became an idiot. Well, I think <laughs> uh, that tells you how, uh, how things function in this kindergarten-like mentality. So anyway, what uh, did Macron do again? This is what he said. Macron insists won't be U.S. vassal on Taiwan. Agency France Press, April 12, 2023. Now, listen, pay attention to this. Macron insists he or, you know, France will not be U.S. vassal, vassal on Taiwan. So that's only that they would not be vassals only on that issue, but on anything else, they remain issues, uh, vassals. Macron should have said, uh, insist won't be US, U.S. vassals. This should not be there. Out. Then you are something. But he only on this occasion. So it's like you tell uh, someone, you know what? I'm not going to be your your female dog uh, when we go to the only when we go to the specific grocery store. But everywhere else, I'll be your uh, female dog. If you know what I mean. What? I'm not going to be your slave over there. But everywhere else, I will be. This is what Macron said. And we're going to analyze why do you think Macron now tries to show balls? Why? Is it because what's going on in France with a uh, French nation? Is that why? Because his uh, opinion poll is guy in the 20s or something? It's because Marine Le Pen now has, uh, if there would be uh, an election conducted today, she would win, definitely. And she's a nationalistic. Uh, and now he picks up his nationalistic uh, violin. Give me the violin here. This is the nationalistic violin. We're not going to be for US's vassals on Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't you get, give the violin of not going to be the vassal state? Uh, that's it. Period. No, 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 no. So I think he's just weasel is just a weasel who now tries to gain back some of his uh, support even though i don't think he can participate again uh to be elected as the president i think this is his second term so he's done so i don't see why he would pick up pick this uh, nationalistic stand right now in france la france independence yes we're independent here yes mm, yeah right you know um actions speak louder than words my friends and macron so far was a uh limb you know uh how do you call this limb dead limb whatever soft limb so let's go and see what's going on here in this article ah look at him i like the guy i mean he's presentable he's intelligent but he's still what he is french president emmanuel he's one of the only western leaders that is intelligent i would say a uh, um, high degree of intelligence because they are intelligent in their own ways you know the pig is intelligent as well when he wants food he starts wee, wee, wee. so he's intelligent you know but in that level so he is intelligent but he's still you know he is a banker he comes from comes from the, those kind of finance uh, environment so he knows who he's supposed to be with french emmanuel french, Ma french emmanuel macron president of france right on wednesday stood by his controversial Controversial because it doesn't, doesn't want to be a vassal state. Comments on Taiwan saying that being a US ally did not mean being a vassal. Uh oh. So now is the general statement. Macron, wrapping up a state visit to the Netherlands, 
during which he has also faced protests over pension reforms, said France still backed the status quo on Taiwan. <laughs> so he's walking, pedaling back now. Huh? But the French president appeared to stick by remarks in an interview at the weekend, uh, in which he said Europe should not be a follower of either Washington or Beijing or get caught up in any escalation. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're under total control of Washington, my friends, your foreign policy. And you know what's strange? Not strange. Interesting. Bad people could be intelligent, you know, and uh, good people could be dumb. Okay, we can have that. Do we agree with that? We agree with that. Uh, I said could, not necessarily that that's the, no, the proportion that matters. So we have a bad person who said that uh, when uh, Europe will become independent in its foreign policy, then it has a chance to survive as a, an entity. Uh, actually, there were more than one uh, persons who said that from the evil side, if you remember. And this is an example, I think, of even this guy comes out and say, well, we should gain our independence. Well, the, the other guys, which are some Russians, said this. I watch them, you can watch them on YouTube, they're over there, saying, uh, <laughs> when these guys uh, are getting out of the total control from Washington, then they might have a chance to blah, blah, blah. Until then, we should not even talk with, talk with Berlin, Paris, and all of London. We should go straight to the origin of all things, which is Washington, D.C. Uh, Washington, D.C. is just the apparent, it's like a hub. But behind Washington, D.C., there's the so-called elites. Anyway, like in any other country, and I'm quoting, being an ally does not mean being a vassal. Wow, they could equate that with what exact word other people used. And they say, uh oh, have you been to KGB school as well, Macron? We're going to find out soon that he is this, he is that. He's going to start attacking his wife and uh, men, manliness and all that. Doesn't mean that we don't have the right to think for ourselves. You just woke up from your freaking sleep, Macron? Macron told a press conference in Amsterdam with Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte. Macron, who visited China last week, said that French and European policy on Taiwan and Korea has not changed, has not changed, despite the furore over his remarks in an interview with Politico and Les Echos, um, in which he backed Europe's strategic autonomy, which is inexistent. And I'm quoting, France is for the status quo in Taiwan, so don't shoot me, basically, that's what he says. He said, adding that Paris, and I'm quoting, supports the one China policy and the search for a peaceful resolution to the situation. And quote, uh, my friends, uh, you can't be, you can't, uh, this is what uh, Macron tries to do, because he's not strong enough, France is not uh, what it used to be. Um, he's trying to be with both sides. You can't you are required by punishment to pick a side. Uh, so you're gonna pick the stronger side if you're a weasel uh, and the weaker side, you're gonna leave it there. Instead of picking what truth, what is true, what truth, good job, Emil. What is true or what your interest is. In this case, I guess France's interest is still being the little fish swimming below the big sharp shark, you know, in the, in the ocean. Like you see a big shark going around and you see a little fish underneath being protected by the belly of the shark that's what france europe uh, south korea australia new zealand uh, japan all these countries and uh, there are some other big sharks over there but not as big as this guy and so far it's still advantageous for these guys to you know receive some crumbs from the shark's table uh, you know um well macron i think he just tries to uh, be a little bit more popular um <laughs> with his remarks because it's very easy to uh, fondle someone's balls uh, with about nationalistic things and in France it's not hard just say oh we don't like Americans oh why do we speak uh, in a French here French uh, just do that and you're gonna be loved by France somehow but I understand that and good for good for them good for them uh, and the same it's your country your language and uh, you know you are uh, you love your country more than any other country. If you don't, then you're dumb because that means you require someone else to love your country more than his country or her country. And you can't be like, I love all countries. I don't love all families. I don't love, love all parents. I love 
my parents, not your parents or your parents. Or I would mostly say your parents, but that too. And I'm, I don't expect you to love my parents more than you love your parents. But this is what we expect to expect to. Oh, uh, we, uh, we we don't like our uh, nation. We we like all nations. No, no. I don't have anything with the other nations. That doesn't mean I have to. By definition, if I love something, I have to hate something else. That's levels of value and preferences. I like the color black personally. That's my favorite. And then the next one is white. And they sometimes do like this. And then it goes, let's say, uh, green. And then it goes like blue. And so on. It doesn't mean I hate green because I love black. But uh, but these guys, if you say, well, I love my family. <gasps> Ooh, or I love my country. Oh, my God. 1940s again. You know, get lost, kid. That's a child mentality. They don't, they don't uh, deny their existence, you know, it doesn't uh, mean that if I love this, I hate that one. If I hate something, I tell you, but uh, I hate uh, this, um, hypocrisy a lot. I hate lies. These are things that I really hate. Not this like I like, you know, because people use them to get ahead, if you know what I mean, <laughs> of others. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So don't uh, trust Macron whatsoever. He's just doing it for political reasons. My uh, assessment of this. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.